How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric Tech. Today, we're going to be comparing the Motorola Edge 2022 to the LG V60. Now, I'm trying to get these comparisons out of the way by the end of the year. That way, we can move on to other stuff. So, let's get down into it. LG V60 versus the Motorola Edge 2022 version. So as far as the dimensions go, the Motorola Edge comes in at 6.33 inches tall, 2.92 inches wide, and 0.31 inches thick. It weighs at about 6 ounces. It does have a glass front, plastic frame, and a plastic back. It does have a water repellent uh, design. No official IP rating on here. And no micro SD card. Going on over to the LG v60 it comes in at 6.67 inches tall 3.6 inches wide and 0.35 inches thin so a little bit of a chunker of a device comes in at 7.51 ounces it is covered in corn and gorilla glass 5 on the front and corn and gorilla glass 6 on the rear with an aluminum frame and it does have an ip68 uh, dust and water resistance with the Mel STD A10G compliance and uh, it does have a micro SD card support so that is one thing going for the LG V60 going on over to the displays the Motorola Edge has an OLED 1 billion color 144 Hertz HDR 10 plus it is a 6.6 inch display fantastic display i do love that it is 144 hertz that is really good motorola definitely stepped up its game uh, it is 1080p by 2400 with about 399 pixels per inch going on over to the lg v60 it is a poled hdr 10 plus it is a 6.8 inch display 1080 by 2460 with 395 pixels per inch covered in corn and gorilla glass 5 now the difference is that the lg does have an always on display while the motorola has the peak display which means it does not stay on all the time and also the lg is only a 60 hertz panel but both are fantastic displays you tell me which one you like the best the lg or the motorola when it comes down to colors and just how these displays look they're both large displays and they're both fantastic and I do like that uh, Motorola did come with, with, an, with an AMOLED instead of an LCD display this time around. As far as the platform goes, the uh, both of these devices are running Android 12. Uh, the Motorola is running the MediaTek Dimensity 1050 chipset with the ARM Mali G610 MC3 GPU. So this version, which is the T-Mobile variant, is only 128 8 gigabytes. Well, over here on the LG V60, it's been recently updated to Android 12. It does have the Snapdragon 865 processor and the Adreno 650 GPU. This model is the 128 8GB version, and it does have micro SD card support to expand that memory even further, which a lot of phones do not have nowadays anymore. When it comes down to the cameras, when it comes down to the cameras, the Motorola Edge main sensor is going to be a 50 megapixel sensor with an aperture of f1.8. It does support much of the directional PDAF and optical image stabilization. The secondary camera is your ultra wide at 13 megapixels, aperture of f1.5. It does have a 120 degree field of view. And lastly, your third camera is going to be a 2 megapixel depth sensor with an aperture of f2.4. And it does record all the way up to 4K 30 frames per second on the rear. Going on over to the front facing camera, it is a 32 megapixel aperture of f2.5. Does support HDR, but it only caps out at 1080p 30 frames per second. Going on over to the LG V60, it does have a main sensor of 64 megapixels, aperture of f1.8. Does have the dual pixel PDAF and optical image stabilization. The secondary camera is going to be a 13 megapixel ultra wide aperture of f1.9 and i believe the uh field of view on this is the same 120 if 123 if i'm not mistaken and then the lastly the um, 0.3 megapixel is going to be a time of flight sensor which is on the rear and that is pretty pretty much for depth sensing it's aperture of f1.4 
the cameras can record all the way up to 8K 30 frames per second. Not that anybody's going to be using that. Uh, 4K 30 60 is going to be the usual on that uh, rear facing camera. The front facing camera is a 10 megapixel aperture of f1.9. It does support HDR and it goes all the way up to 4K 30 frames per second. So there you go. Uh, LG always having that high quality uh, front facing camera video quality, which is fantastic. A lot of phones do not have that nowadays. When it comes down to stereo speakers, both of these devices do have stereo speakers. LG does have the whole 3D surround sound uh, sound engine from LG to give you more options when it comes down to auto cinema music and voice. While over here on the Motorola, you get Dolby Atmos with smart audio, music, movie, game, podcast, and custom. As far as other features on the LG, you do have the quad DAC, uh, which is fantastic when you're plugging in uh, wired headphones and plugging in this to your auxiliary port in your car. You have more options to give you hi-fi audio on your LG V60, which is fantastic. Uh, the Motorola Edge does not have a headphone jack, while the headphone, while the LG V60 obviously does have a headphone jack with that high-quality quad DAC on board to give you excellent audio if you're still one of those audiophiles who listens to music with wired headphones, not through Bluetooth. Going on over to fingerprint sensors. The LG V60 does have an optical in display fingerprint sensor, which can be seen on your always on display. And I think it has gotten uh, pretty fast over time. There is no facial recognition on the LG V60. Unfortunately, they never gave us any facial recognition on this device going on over to the Motorola Edge you also get an optical in display fingerprint sensor which shows up whenever you turn on the phone and it seems to be a little bit quicker when it comes down to unlocking the device the Motorola Edge does have facial recognition to unlock your device so you can unlock your device right there it's not the fastest in the world but it still does way better than a lot of other devices and like I said earlier the fingerprint sensor Definitely a little bit quicker than the LG's uh, fingerprint sensor, but both are pretty secure. When it comes down to battery and charging, both of these devices do have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is fantastic. Uh, the uh, Motorola Edge does support 30 watt fast charging and 15 watt wireless charging, which I was really surprised to find that a Motorola device at this price point has wireless charging. Other devices that are at this same price point, maybe just a little bit more, do not have wireless charging, which is fantastic news on the Motorola Edge. Uh, it does also have reverse charging at 5 watts. Going on over to the LG V60, it does have a 5000 milliamp hour battery, like mentioned earlier. It does have fast charging, but I believe it's only at 25 watts. And you do have wireless charging as well and reverse wireless charging. So keep that in mind. Both of these devices are going to be pretty much all day battery life. Even two days, the Motorola Edge definitely has really good battery life compared to the LG V60. V60 and the Motorola Edge definitely gets you about two days worth of battery life. But then you're definitely going to have to charge these uh, devices. As far as Bluetooth goes, the Motorola Edge does come with Bluetooth 5.2. 
and uh, Wi-Fi 6E while the the uh, LG V60 comes with Bluetooth 5.1 and Wi-Fi 6 only but uh, really not much of a difference between the, there's just one Bluetooth is newer than the other they all work the same to be honest but as far as that goes both of these devices are really nice devices the LG V60 can be found for like $200 maybe under $200 if you look in the right spot while the uh, Motorola Edge was going for about $500, uh, you could probably get a little bit cheaper nowadays uh, since it's been out for a while. But both of these are fantastic. Depending on what you're looking for, I think the V60 definitely has better cameras when it comes down to the Motorola Edge by a lot. But the Motorola Edge does have that nice display with the 144Hz refresh rate. Uh, the display on the LG V6, don't get me wrong, it's fantastic. But it, don't, it is only at 60Hz and you do get larger bezels on the LG than you do on the Motorola. Brightness is about the same on both of them. They're both fantastic and easy to see outdoors. Performance on both of these, I think uh, the MediaTek... Uh, chipset is actually doing pretty good compared to the snapdragon 865 processor uh in, in performance they're both really good they're both fast and snappy phones i think the v60 is going to be able to handle more power when it comes down to editing videos and processing power compared to the motorola edge but the motorola edge is no slouch when it comes down to performance they're both fast and snappy and both will get the job done quite nicely. I was very surprised with the Motorola Edge and its performance and its stereo speakers, display, cameras. They're all really good on the Edge. But the V60 is a classic and a lot of people love the V60. So I thought I would do a comparison. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And I will see you next time on Sick Eric Tech. You all have an excellent and safe New Year's.